Bone density loss can be a direct effect from the cancer itself or from cancer treatment. It is most common with cancers that affect the hormones such as breast or prostate cancer. And being aware of the increased risk for osteoporosis can help actively assist in lowering your risk of bone loss, which could lead to something like a fracture. My name is Kelly and I'm a physical therapist and I specialize in oncology, lymphedema, and women's health. And in this video, I'm going to explain the main causes of bone density loss or osteoporosis from cancer and its treatment. The first one are aromatase inhibitors. These are typically used for postmenopausal women to help decrease estrogen from estrogen positive tumors. They need to lower the estrogen to help lower your risk of getting a reoccurrence. However, lower estrogen can equal higher risk for bone density loss. A second cancer treatment is androgen deprivation therapy. This is typically used for men with prostate cancer in the same form that something like aromatase inhibitors are used for women. They are used to help manage the hormone levels. Unfortunately, this treatment can lead to bone density loss, but it can also lead to decreased muscle mass, increased fat mass, and also heart disease. If someone is experiencing these side effects or symptoms, an oncology physical therapist can help create you an individualized program to help minimize these side effects. And the next cancer treatment that can cause bone density loss is chemotherapy. Certain chemo drugs can impact bone health. For example, some can shut down the ovaries, which can lead to early menopause. The decreased estrogen from this process can then lead to decreased bone density. Just be aware that if you've had any of these chemotherapy drugs that your bone health could be impacted and it's something that you can address with your oncology physical therapist or your doctor. Another cancer treatment that can affect bone density loss is something like a oophorectomy surgery. This surgery includes removing the ovaries. So following a similar pattern, if you have a surgery for cancer that takes out any organ that affects hormones, this can greatly have an effect on your bone health. For women, if it causes early menopause, that can again decrease your estrogen levels, which can lead to more negative effects on your bone density. Radiation therapy can negatively affect your bone health specifically in the area that was radiated. Radiation therapy can lead to something like radiation fibrosis or breakdown of the bones in that area, and that can put you at a higher risk for something like a fracture. If you have radiation therapy in your head and neck area or your chest area, typically that's not gonna then affect something like the lower leg. Bone health from radiation therapy will typically just localize to the area within that radiated field. Bone health is something you wanna continue to speak to your doctor about. Typically, most doctors and oncologists will work with you for medication to help take care of your bones long term. Diet, exercise, and lifestyle choices are keys in preventing osteoporosis. Oncology physical therapy can be a great option for you to help manage and prevent any bone density loss. In therapy, we work on strength training, weight-bearing exercises, stress reduction, posture, and balance training. I will address another video, what are the best exercises for bone loss or osteoporosis prevention. So be sure to subscribe below to see when that video is posted. Along with the exercises, it's really important to look at your diet. You wanna make sure that you're maximizing your calcium and vitamin D, as well as your protein intake. Be sure to check in with your doctor to discuss bone health more in depth and get you referred to a specific dietitian. For more videos on cancer rehab or lymphedema, be sure to subscribe below and press the like button if you found this video helpful. Thanks everyone for watching.